Your next challenge is to perform the 100-yard dash, javelin throw, and the standing long jump with a robot. When Cal said the word robot, I immediately freaked out. This is going to be a really tough challenge. Follow me to the blueprint challenge. It's good to hear that we're going to have an actual robotics challenge. On the other hand, making a robot to do one thing is pretty much doable. Getting a robot to do three different things is generally really hard. The winner and runner-up of the blueprint challenge will be team captains, and they'll select the teams. The eliminated competitors won't participate in the blueprint challenge, but you guys will be in the running for the teams that are picked in the main challenge. And you'll compete alongside everyone else and get to show the judges why you deserve a second chance. All right, your time starts now. If I don't win this challenge, I have a lot of friends back home who are gonna make a lot of fun of me. So I need to be the team leader. I need to use all the knowledge that I've accumulated over the past 10 years of robot building to make this happen. This is the first challenge where I've actually felt really intimidated, and that's because I'm dealing with two robotic geniuses out here, and they've been waiting for this challenge. That's it. Time's up. And everybody, please step away from your blueprints. If there was a challenge that I need to lead, this is the one. The whole system needs to be extremely lightweight. It needs to look like a couple of giant motors, a couple of giant pistons, and some air storage tanks. That's it. What I think is going to be the toughest event is the long jump. I think a, a neat way to accomplish that would be a reverse catapult. To get all three of those events into one robot, you got to be sneaky. And a way to get quickness for the two events in one component is to use these rubber tr tank treads. There's one thing I've learned from wor working with legged robots. It's that you don't want to use legs if you can avoid it. If it's legal, I would much prefer to use wheels. There was a, some tribe in South America that, that fishes using spears where they capture the end of the rod, and they actually launch it from the end. Me doing this challenge would be sort of like Homer Simpson designing a car. It's a cockroach simulating robot where instead of having wheels, you have these flap arms that come around and, and uh, do this motion. So we can run, we can jump, but we can also use these arms to fling something. Because of the big difference between all three things that our robot has to do, this is probably going to be the hardest challenge we've had to face so far.